In this segment of Suffolk Headlines, we check out Kids Fest, which was held at Bennett's Creek Park and at the Kids Zone off Main Street. We also visit the Sleepy Hole Golf Course, which hosted the second annual Relay for Life Golf Tournament. Lastly, we head over to the North Suffolk Library for the highly anticipated Star Wars Party. Getting kids to eat their vegetables is one thing, but giving them a day of fun activities is something different entirely. Sponsored by the Suffolk Early Childhood Development Commission and Suffolk Parks and Recreation, the Kids Fest was a huge success. Along with games and crafts, there were also police, fire, and city trucks on display for the kids. We come out here a lot, you know, in the morning time, and we just uh, wanted to get her out of the house. Nice day, so we came over here and I saw everything and was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, she does. She likes um, animals and she needs the bubbles. I had a hard time dragging her away from the bubbles, so. I mean, she loves the park in general, but seeing stuff like this, the interactive stuff, she's like, she's a blast. So nice. Baby goat. <laughs> Did you see baby goats? Beautiful weather, friendly faces, and golfing for a cause made the second annual Relay for Life Golf Tournament a successful event. The City of Suffolk sponsored the event and provided breakfast, gift raffles, and a steak lunch for all participants. Everyone was anxious to get out on the greens in an effort to fight cancer. And their hard work paid off as this year's Relay for Life Golf Tournament raised $20,000. This is our effort to try to tell cancer we want you out of our community, out of our lives. And because of you and the contributions that you've made, I think we're on our track to make that happen. Congratulations to all of you for making this a successful event with all the participation that we have. My role is basically logistics and supply, making sure that uh, all the participants out here have all, all they need to enjoy the day, water, uh, soft drinks, coolers, whatever they need, uh, getting the raffle prizes here and set up on display so we can uh, prompt people to, to give generously to the uh, fund. Oh, it's been a wonderful event so far. I mean, it's a beautiful day. We couldn't ask for better. It's a little on the warm side, but everything went smooth this morning. We got set up, everybody moved in, and they're out there on the links enjoying themselves. Well, it just shows that we, we are humans and we do care about a community beyond the law enforcement side, and we're willing to go that extra mile to help out any charity in need. I've enjoyed being part of it. I look forward to another successful uh, year here and then again next year when we do this again.
The North Suffolk Library was transformed into an intergalactic space station, complete with games and out-of-this-world snacks for the Star Wars party. Kids of all ages came out to play games, make crafts, take pictures with their favorite Star Wars characters, as well as use the Force to protect the human race from Darth Vader and the dark side. Well, we came out here to the Suffolk Library so uh, we could uh, come out for Star Wars Day. I have Darth Vader and Boba Fett here and we're enjoying the time, playing games and enjoying the treats. Definitely the Stormtrooper Bowling. We're enjoying that. That's really unique. That's cool. Thanks for watching this segment of Suffolk Headlines.